Hey guys, Jam here. In today's video, we're going to be doing something super special. It's going to be my first Xeno slash alien kind of conversion. Well, at least I think it's the first one. I don't think I've done it before. But as you've probably seen by the thumbnail and the title, we're going to be doing kind of flayed one style neck runs. And to be honest, this isn't going to be like a super in-depth, detailed video. All very technical or difficult to do. It's very, very simple stuff. This is more of like a giving you an idea or a little bit of a tip to maybe inspire you to do something for yourself. Maybe you want to go ahead and make your own flayed ones. Or if you want an army, an entire Necron army, that kind of looks like they're starting to get infected by the flayer cult. You know, they're not full flayed ones yet. They're kind of going that way so they're covered in flesh and skin and body parts and all that kind of stuff so yeah it's like I said a simple idea and then you can go forth and maybe use it to create something really cool and just a quick recap on what flayed ones or flayer virus is for anybody that doesn't know it's basically necrons that have got infected by this thing called the flayer virus where they start going a little bit insane and crazy and they basically want to have flesh again because necrons used to be fleshy people I guess kind of like humans and then they got transferred into these met metallic bodies. So anyway, yeah, they want to have flesh back. They want to be kind of human. I, I don't know. I'm not exactly 100% into the law. But yeah, long story short, they like to skin their victims and wear their, fa wear their faces and their hands and their skin draped all over their bodies. So it's pretty horrifying stuff. And yeah, I think it's a pretty cool idea if you wanted to do an entire army this way. You know, just like flesh and body parts just dripping off your entire army. Like, you know, they're all going a little bit crazy. Bit more horror kind of vibe. But yeah, on the that kind of note of body parts and stuff, before we start doing the flesh and everything, the first thing you're going to want to do is find any like feet and arms and hands and severed heads and stuff. You might want to stick to the model. Like you can see on the screen here, I got the old, old zombie kit from Age of Sigma. It's been sat around for years and I thought, well, I might as well use some of the arms and stuff from that. So I'm going to use this hand and I'm going to glue it into a place where later I'm going to do the, like kind of green stuff, skin and flesh all over there. So yeah, just find body parts, stick them and glue them everywhere you want to go and later we'll incorporate that with the kind of fleshy stuff as well. So yeah, I'm just going to do it with the one, but it's something you could spread out through into your entire army. All right. So the obvious next step here is to start kind of making all the draping flesh. So what you want to do is get a big old ball of green stuff. And all you want to do is roll it out flat like you would do with some dough or something like that. It really doesn't matter about the shape here. You don't want to go too thin of course because you don't want it to be breaking apart. But you also don't want it too thick so it doesn't really look like skin. And then all you got to do is kind of start cutting shapes out of it. You can kind of maybe look at your model and think, okay, where do I want this draping? Do I want a bit going over the face? Do I want this to look like someone's stretched out head that's been like skinned and pulled over somebody's like shoulders or something like that? I don't know. Just, yeah, get kind of rough kind of shapes that you like. And yeah, you can make pretty much any shape work because once again, it's all ripped up flesh. So like this first one I'm doing, I knew I wanted it to cover the arm a bit that I glued on there, so I left a nice kind of long arm-shaped kind of bit of flesh, I guess. And all I do is I just slap it onto the body, and you know, green stuff, you can stretch it out, work it in. And what I do generally do is I just kind of get the green stuff on the models, get it into the kind of shape and place that I wanted. Then I'll come back later and start adding in the detail, pressing it in, just, you know, blending it into the model a bit more. But like I said, right now, we're just laying it out. And one extra little tip here as well, because I know a lot of people sometimes are nervous about using green stuff. But just remember, it's only green stuff. If you don't like the position it's in or you don't like the way it's looking, you can peel it right off, mush it back up into a ball and begin again or chuck it. It's completely up to you. And also, if you're not really sure on like places you can place the skin and maybe some ideas and stuff, obviously GW does flayed one so what I did was as well you can look at this image I'll have on the screen right now and that will give you some ideas of like where you can put the skin what will look good what doesn't look good all that kind of stuff now one thing I did like was kind of like the skin draping over the faces and stuff like that you know they kind of wearing people's faces or something it's really really dark and I think it just really makes the model pop and also when you are doing the green stuff you don't have to cut the shape you want perfectly the first go you can cut like a small piece like I do here Get it kind of sitting over the head, then add another place on, piece on top. Like once again, it's ripped up skin. It doesn't have to look neat or tidy. It's the most simple thing you can do with green stuff. 
you just layer it on there, make it look all ripped and torn, and it'll look great. And I do add a little like kind of wrappy thing around this guy's wrist as well because when I was building this model, for some reason the arm just kind of snapped. So I glued it back together and to hide that, I'm just uh, yeah wrapping some skin around there. So yeah, now that I've got it into the place that I want, I'm going to start adding details and pressing it in. As you can see, I'm using a toothpick here. Remember to keep your tools wet and damp while you're working with green stuff so you don't pull it off. And now I'm just going to make like kind of holes in the skin. Adding a bit of like ripped and just a bit of like dimply texture, making it look rough. You know, these guys have been in battle, they've ripped the skin up. You don't want just smooth bits of green stuff, it'll just look weird. And what you'll also see now is, I use my hobby knife here to actually carve like almost a face shape into this green stuff. Now it's not 100% looking like a face, but I don't know, if you get up close when someone's looking at your models, it might be like, hey, I'm pretty sure there's a face at one point and it's just been kind of ripped apart and stretched out on there so you can do some pretty gross stuff with this now the next tip and this is a very important one obviously your green stuff where you've cut it is going to be kind of like smooth bland areas and you don't want that you want it to have once again ripped tatted pieces so get your tweezers or something like that and all you're going to do is gently pull the edges of your green stuff so one it will stretch it out so you can get some like nice long looking bits but it will also eventually tear so you'll end up with this kind of like tatted end bits and like I say you can pull it in all different directions like you got like I said before you got some droopy bits some shorter bits just really rough it up on the edges you don't want any smooth bits going on because that would not make any sense and to be honest it's just a good way to move your green stuff around if you if it's just not in the position that you want as well and as you guys can see I'm doing three different examples here today just to kind of give you some different ideas of how to go about it shapes like I said going over the face and all that kind of stuff like this guy here I'm like giving him a proper big piece of like flesh hanging over his shoulders and all that kind of stuff. Some can have less, some have some wrapped around their legs. You can just put it wherever you want. And I also get like a really small thin strand of green stuff just to get like running across this Necron's face as well. And I think that really pulls the model together a lot more. And yeah, that's pretty much all the things you got to do. So at this point, I'm just going to be roughing the edges up with my tweezers, like I say, pulling it into different places, making it tatted, using my like hobby knife or toothpick or something to make little holes and little dimples and imperfections in the skin is basically what I'm trying to say there. And of course, if you do have any like body parts and stuff like that, you want to blend the green stuff into the actual hands or feet or whatever you do, do decide to stick on there and once you are done and you've got everything the way you want as usual get a damp or wet paintbrush and just kind of gently run it around the green stuff just kind of smooth it all out don't push out the detail but just make sure you don't have any like kind of tool marks and fingerprints and stuff like that just smooth it out into the place that you want yeah and like i said you guys can just go absolutely ham like you can see on the Screen right now, I'm just kind of wrapping some around the legs, getting some under the armpity areas. Yeah, just roll up a bunch of green stuff and go have fun. So yeah, these guys are pretty much done. Let's cut to a fancy little showcase and I do have a treat for you guys in the showcase as well. And there you have it in all his painted Flayed One Glory. Yeah, so I <laughs> managed to actually paint these guys. I know I never paint the things in my conversion videos. I think my most number one like commented thing on like every single video is when are you going to paint this or are you ever going to paint this or something like that. And I really want to do that. Obviously, I never have time, but I've kind of decided I'm just going to cut down my painting standards. So I can hopefully from now on, obviously not every single time, get my conversions painted up to you guys. Even if it's just like a super quick basic tabletop stand and I can go back in the future. Back in the future, that makes no sense at all. In the future, I can kind of up the details when I have time. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know it was like a super simple one. I mean, anybody can do this, think about this, whatever. It was just kind of like a fun idea I wanted to mess around with. And maybe no one's thought about it. Maybe someone's too nervous to use green stuff it's super easy and it could make your necron army really stand out it's something different you never see complete kind of flayer virus necrons 
Not that I've seen anyway. But yeah, comment below if you think you'll ever try something like this or you think it looks cool or whatever. And as always, I do have a Patreon account and a merch store and stuff like that. And what I don't really mention that often is I do have a Discord channel if you want to share your work and all that kind of good stuff. But yeah, until the next video, guys, bye-bye.